this tutorial, I will be showing you part two of how to make this bumblebee applique and granny square. If you haven't seen part one, I will leave an I card in the corner that you can click on to go to that first part of the video series of how to make this bumblebee applique. Part one is where I show you how to make the applique where I show you how to make the head and the body of the bumblebee. In this video, which is part two, I'm going to show you how to make the wings and the details for the face. I'll show you how to make the eyes, the mouth, and the little pink cheeks for the bumblebee and the antennas. And then I'm going to also show you how to sew on the wings and the details for the face and the antennas onto the applique in this video. And then there's going to be a part three where I'm going to show you how to make this a solid granny square. And this granny square measures approximately eight inches by eight inches. Part three, I will show you how to make the granny square and then I will show you how to sew the applique onto the granny square. So once I have that uploaded, I will leave a I card in the corner that you can click on and I will create a playlist for all three parts that way you can find part one, two, and three very easily so you can create this whole project from start to finish if you want to make this applique and granny square. And I will leave a link in the description box below to part one and part three. Today's video is going to be part two. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to make the wings, the details for the face, and the antennas in this video. Now I'm going to make some wings for my bumblebee applique. I'm going to use white acrylic yarn. And this is also a four ply worsted weight acrylic yarn to make the wings. And I'm using the same size crochet hook, the size I9 5.50 millimeter crochet hook to make the wings, just like I did to make the bumblebee. So it's the same size hook. And now I'm going to start with a slip knot. So for the wings, I'm going to have four parts for the wing. There'll be two at the top that will be a little bit longer than the part that will be at the bottom. So we'll have one part of the wing at the top and then a shorter one here, a longer one here, and a shorter one here. So I'm going to make two of each. This will be the longer part of the wing. I'm using the same size crochet hook. I'm still using the 5.50 millimeter crochet hook, the same size I used to make the bumblebee. Okay, so I'm going, now I'm going to chain seven chains. And then I'm going to skip the chain closest to the hook. Into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to do one single crochet. And then I'm going to do one single crochet into the next four chains. And then into this last chain, I will work four double crochets. So I'm doing four double crochets all into this last chain. Okay, so I just did four double crochets into that last chain and then you can see it kind of curves around. And then here is the bottom edge of the chains. I am going to work one single crochet into each of those stitches at the bottom edge of the chain. So I will do five single crochets. Okay, and that finishes the first part of the wing for the top here, for the top section. And then I'm going to repeat this for a second wing for the other side now. I'm done with this part, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the yarn, but I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail so that way I have enough of a tail to be able to sew the wing on to the bumblebee. 
And then I'm going to yarn over with that tail and pull it through that loop and give it a tug to fasten off. Okay, so that's one part of the wing done. So now I just need to repeat that for a second one. I'm gonna do the second one exactly the same way. And then after I make the second one, it'll be for this side here. And then I'll make two wings for the bottom part. This one at the bottom will be a little bit shorter than these ones at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a second one now. Okay, so again, I'm gonna start with a slip knot. And then I am going to chain seven chains. And then skipping the first chain closest to the hook into the second chain, I will work a single crochet. And then one single crochet into the next four chains. And then into this last chain, I will work four double crochets all into that chain. So this last chain has four stitches, four double crochets all into the same chain. And then one single crochet into the next five stitches working into the bottom edge of the chain stitches. Okay, so I'm going to work five single crochets. I have my second one done now. Okay, so I have another wing done for the other side of the bee. And again, I'm going to leave a good sized tail to allow for sewing the wing onto the bumblebee applique. Okay, so then I'm going to yarn over with that tail, pull through the loop, and fasten off. So there is the other wing for the other side. So I have the two parts of the wing now for the top. And now I need to make two smaller ones here. And now for the smaller part of the wing, I am going to start with a slip knot. And instead of chaining seven, I am going to chain five chains. Okay, so I have my five chains. I am going to skip the chain closest to the hook. And into the second chain from the hook, I will do a single crochet. And then one single crochet into the next two chains. And then into this last chain, I'm going to work four double crochets all into this last chain, just like I did with these wings here. And then I'm going to do one single crochet into the next three stitches, working into the bottom edge of the chains. So I'm going to do one single crochet into three stitches. Okay, and that completes the bottom part of the wing. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut the yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail. So I can sew it onto the bumblebee applique. Yarn over with that tail, pull it through to fasten off. And then I'm going to repeat that to make a second one, the same size for this side. Okay, so I'll start with a chain five. And then into the second chain from the hook, a single crochet and then one single crochet into the next two chains then four double crochets into this last chain
and then working into the bottom edge of the chain stitches here I'm going to work one single crochet into the next three stitches Okay, and that completes the second one, just like this one. Okay, so now I have two of the shorter wings and two of the longer ones. Okay, so now I have the wings done. Okay, so now I have the wings done for my bumblebee applique, so I just need to sew those on and then I need to make a face for the bumblebee. And I actually am going to work on the face first before I sew the wings on because I think it will be easier to work with it before putting the wings on and then the little antennas. Now I'm going to make two little antennas for the top of the head of the bumblebee and I am going to use a smaller crochet hook to make those. I'm going to use a size H, 8, 5 millimeter crochet hook and I'm still going to use a 4 ply worsted weight acrylic yarn and then I am going to make two identical antennas so I need to make two. So to make the antennas I'm going to start with a slip knot with the 5 millimeter crochet hook. And then chain two. And then into that first chain that I did when I did the chain two, so not the one closest to the hook, the first one that I did, I am going to work three single crochets into that chain. And then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. And then I will chain three chains. Okay, so there's the first little antenna for the top of the head of the bumblebee. And then I'm going to fasten off and now I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. So I'm going to cut the yarn and I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail so I can sew it on. That's the first one. So now I'm going to make a second one. I'm going to repeat that for the second antenna. Okay, so I'm going to make a second one exactly the same way chain two, three single crochets into the first chain, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet, and then chain three. Okay, so now I have my second antenna for the top of the head of the bumblebee. So I made those with a slightly smaller hook. And you can even use a smaller crochet hook if you want your little antennas to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I need to make two little eyes. And then I'll make a little mouth. And then I'm going to make little pink circles for the cheeks and for the eyes for the bumblebee I'm going to use a smaller crochet hook I'm going to use a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook and I will start with a slip knot and then chain three chains and then I will join with a slip stitch to the first chain to form a little circle
Okay, and there's my first eye. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail so I can sew it on. I'm going to pull that tail through that loop and fasten off. Okay, so there is the first little eye. I'm going to repeat that for the second one now. So I'll start with a slip knot. And then chain three. And then join with a slip stitch to the first chain. Repeat that for the second eye. I'm going to start with a slip knot. And then I will chain three chains. And then join with a slip stitch to the first chain. And then fasten off here. Okay, so now I have my two eyes for my bumblebee and my two antennas. And the four parts for the wings. So now I need to make a little mouth and a little pink rosy cheeks. Okay, so I have some pink yarn here. I'm going to go ahead and do a slip knot using the small. 2.75 millimeter crochet hook just like when I did the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do a slip knot and then chain three. Join with a slip stitch to the first chain. And then I have a little circle here. And then Fasten off. And then I'm going to make a second one the same way. Start with a slip knot, chain three, join with a slip stitch to the first chain. Okay, so now I have my second little circle for the cheeks right here. Okay, so now I have the little cheeks for the bumblebee, the eyes, the antennas, two of the antennas, and then the parts for the wings. So now I just need to sew them onto the bumblebee and weave in all the tails. And then I need to just make a little mouth. And for the little mouth, I'm just going to use a little strand of yarn to make a little smile here. And then... I need to make a granny square and then sew the applique onto the granny square. So let me go ahead and start putting this bumblebee together with the individual parts here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the eyes in place first. So for the eyes, here's the center where the magic ring was. So here's the magic ring. So I'm just going to come from the magic ring. The magic ring is the first, first round where the magic ring is, the second, third. So on the third round, is where I'm going to place the eye. And then I'm just going to place it where I want it here. And bring that tail to the back. And then the second one here. And bring that tail to the back. And then I'm not going to tie the tails just yet or anything. I'm going to wait till I place the second eye to make sure I like the way they are placed on the face before I weave in the ends and tie knots. So 
So I'm going to find the center here. One, two, three, into the third round. And then bring the tail to the back. And then find the second tail here. Again, then I'm going to bring that tail to the back. The so on the eye. And then once you're happy with the placement of the eyes, then you can tie those two strands into a knot here in the back. And I'm going to do that twice. Okay, and then you can sew put the thread through the darning needle and then you can just kind of sew it through the eye bring it to the front and then sew it through the front of the eye to the back again Do that with the second one. So I'm going to go ahead and tie them in a knot again since I brought them back through the back again from the front. And this is going to be sewn onto the granny square, so I'm not going to see these knots in the back. Okay, and then you want to look at the eyes in the front again. Because if you don't like the way they look, you can always bring the tail through the eye again and then sew it on a little bit more if you want to make sure that the eyes lay flat in the way you like them to kind of help shape them. Okay, so I'm going to leave them like that for now. And I'll just leave the tails for a moment in case I want to make any last minute adjustments before I trim them. I have my two eyes on and now I am going to go ahead and place a mouth here. And I'm just going to use a strand of yarn to sew on a mouth. I am going to use a little strand of yarn to sew a little mouth on. I want to put the mouth on first before I put the little pink cheeks on. Okay, so I have a little strand of yarn to sew on the little mouth. Okay, so here's the eye, so I'm going to follow that down. And then here's the first round, second, third. So in between the third and fourth round, I am going to bring that thread through. And then I am going to, so that's in the back now. So then I'm going to take this strand and re-thread the darning needle. Okay, and then I'm going to find this edge here of the eye. And then rather than inserting it in between the third and fourth round like I did here, I'm going to bring it a little bit lower to the middle of the stitch because I don't want to go straight across because I want to make it have a little smile. So I want it to dip down to make a little smile because I want to make a little happy face for my little bumblebee. Okay, and then I'm going to come back over here a little bit. Kind of in line with the edge of this eye, like I did here. Bring it through. And then back over to meet here. Alright, and then I just need to 
complete the other part of the mouth like this. So here I use the edge of this eye, the outer part of the eye, the start. As I'm going to find the outer edge of this eye, just like I did that, just like I did over here when I started the mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and find the outer edge of the eye as my guide. And I'm going to place the, and I'm going to insert it between the third and fourth row, just like I did when I started the mouth over here. And bring it to the front, thread it through the front. And then insert the downing needle right here from the front to the back then bring it through and there completes my little mouth for my bumblebee and that completes the little smiley mouth for my bumblebee how cute okay so then I'm going to tie the two strands of the mouth into a couple of knots in the back and I won't see these little and you won't see the knots in the strands in the back since this is going to be sewn onto the granny square they can hide the little knots and tails in the back of the applique. Okay, and then I'm just gonna trim those a little bit, but I'm not gonna trim them real close to the knot because I don't want them to come undone. So there is the little mouth and the eyes for the face of the bumblebee now. And now that I have the mouth in place, I can place the little cheeks. Okay, so you can either have it connected to the mouth or right above it a little bit, a little bit of space right there. Then I'm going to thread the other tail through, bring it to the back. Okay, so that's the first one, and then repeat that for the second one. Okay, so I'm going to place that cheek. Make sure it's even with the other side. And then bring that tail to the back to sew it on. And then thread the other strand and bring that to the back. And then I have the little cheeks, little rosy cheeks. So then I can tie a couple of knots in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it three times. And do the same thing for this one. And then I can do the same thing I did with the eyes where I go ahead and thread up the tail and bring it from the back to the front through the actual cheek here. And then back through to the back again, just to secure it some more and keep it in place. Okay, and then tie the knots again. I'll tie it a couple more times.
Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other cheek. The same thing I did over here. I'm going to bring it from the back to the front through the cheek itself. That way I can secure it a little bit more. And then, then I'm going to sew it from the front through the cheek. And then to the back again. Just to secure it and keep it in place. Then I can shape it. There we go. All right, and then tie it in a couple of knots in the back. All right, they should stay in place now, no problem. All right, how cute. So the face is really coming together. It's looking adorable. So cute. Okay, so now I just need to put the wings on. So now I just need to sew on the wings. So here are the the long the two wings that are the longer ones, and here are the ones that are a little bit shorter for the bottom part of the wing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew this on. Okay, so I'm just gonna place it where I want here. I'm just going to kind of place it in between. Here's the first two rows for the black stripe and the two rows for the yellow. So I'm going to kind of place it in the, in the middle right there. Just overlap it on the back a little bit so I can sew it on. And now you want to be careful because you can't just bring it through here because you'll see the yarn. So what you want to do is you want to sew it from the back. Okay, so make sure it's placed where you want. And what you're going to do is when you sew it on, you want to make sure that when you sew it, you sew, you sew it just through a loop on the back of the yarn. So in other words, you don't want to sew it through the entire stitch. In other words, just like a, a loop from the back of the stitch, but not all the way through to the front. So you can just turn it and make sure you didn't go through the whole stitch, in other words. And then back through and just pick up like the back part of the stitch and not all the way through to the front, in other words, and sew them on. And you can always check to make sure. So see how I'm just going through the back part of the loop of the stitch so you can't see it through the front. So I'm just going to go through that little strand of the back part of the stitch, not through the front, when I sew them on. Okay, so let me see how that looks. Okay, and then here's the other one for the other side. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so overlap it a little bit on the back. Make sure it's in line with the other one. And then I'm going to sew it on, go through the wing, and then just pick up the back part of the stitches so that way it doesn't go through to the front.
So there's the top part of the wing. And before I finish sewing those on, I'm just going to look at them and make sure I like where they are in case I need to make any adjustments. Okay, so I want to lower this one a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to sew these on the same way that I did these. Okay, and then repeat that for the other one. Okay, so now I have the wings on for my bumblebee, and then you just want to sew on the little antennas on the top of the bumblebee's head. So you want to weave this tail in that's at the top of it, where this rounded part is. I'm going to weave this tail in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and weave that down through the stitches here. And then I'm going to weave it down the chain. And then that way, both tails are at the bottom, so I can sew it on. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Take this tail at the top, where the round part is. Weave it in. And then weave it down the chain. Okay, so both tails are now at the bottom of the antenna. Okay, and then you just want to find the right side. Okay, so then I'm just going to decide where I want to place them. So I'm going to use the eye as a guide and kind of line them up there at the top here. And then I'm going to use that as a guide and then weave it through the back here. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to weave it through the strands of the yarn at the back of the work and not all the way through to the front when I sew them on. Same way I did the wings because I don't want it to show through. And then here's the other tail. Okay, and then I'm just going to keep sewing it on and weaving that through. Okay, I'm going to tie the two strands into a little knot or two here at the back. This is on the back side of the work.
then line it up with the eye just like I did on this side. I'll use the eye of the bee kind of to line it up. And then, and then I'm going to stitch it on on the back. Working in just the loops on the back of the work when I weave it in to sew it on. Okay, and here's the second tail for the antenna. I'm going to do the same thing with that. So the back side has a lot of tails right now that will have to be woven in, but we can hide those in the back of the work. I need to do is weave in all these little tails so I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on pause weave in all these ends and I will be right back so while I had the camera on pause I went ahead and wove in the tails I wove in the white tails for the wings here on the back and then these ones here where I had the little cheeks and the mouth and things like that and the eyes I am NOT going to have a place to really weave them in so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the tails and trim them back a little bit but not right next to the knots like I did with these I didn't cut them all the way next to the knots because they'll be hidden at the back of the work if I cut them too close to the knots then they might come undone and work loose and I didn't want that so you don't want to cut them right next to the knots And then the same thing for the antennas, just trim them a little bit. So just trim all the little tails because they'll be at the back of the applique. And there, and now the little bumblebee applique is complete. And then it's ready to sew on to a granny square or any crochet project that you're working on. You can Sew it onto an afghan or a little sweater or a cardigan. There's so many different things you can do with it. But for this one, I am going to sew it onto a granny square.